It's so much about handling people and psychology, I guess. I mean, nothing can be the best thing you've ever said, or it could get you the sack. You've got to gauge that. I know, Henrik, and it's very easy to work for in many respects, but his ball flight, you better know exactly where the wind is, because if it's a smidge into or a smidge down, it's a huge difference for him. Caddy Gareth Lord is the man on Henrik Stenson's bag, a player famed for his consistency and a two-time winner of World Tour Championships in Dubai. We sat down with Gareth to find out more about their successful partnership, starting with how they first began working together. I sent him a text at the end of 2012. I knew he was without a caddy, and his, his manager at the time was Johan Elliott, who was the same as Robert Carlson who I'd worked for for years. He gave me his number, and I watched him win the South African Open. And I was like, hmm, I've seen that before. So I sent him a text, and he got back to me a couple of days later. First tournament, God knows how he did it, but he came about 22nd, 23rd, but he, he wasn't very good. <laughs> so <laughs> he chipped and played like a demon for that, I remember that. And then he got steadily better and better. And by the time we got to America, he was really starting to play well. I mean, it is very good, but it's not, again, it's not just me and him. You know, there's Pete Cowan behind the scenes, there's Torsten Hansen behind the scenes, Cornell Dryson's behind the scenes. It is all a team, you know, it's, we all share in his success, if you like. And of course, if he doesn't do so well, it's, you feel that as well. I'm getting things wrong. <laughs> Pitching in the crowd over the back, that's totally not good. Um, if we make a tactical error, that's not good. Because that's it. it's, it's on me, but it's kind of both of us, and both of us feel rubbish. I'm telling myself off, and he's telling himself off, and he tells me off, and <laughs> kind of goes from there, really. I would say the Ryder Cup with Justin Saturday morning. To birdie 10 in a row to finish the Americans off was pretty cool. I mean, they were just brilliant. Justin no doubt played a bit better than Henrik, but Henrik was always there, and then he came in with his birdies, and that was phenomenal, because you get to share it with another couple, if you like, you know? Uh, I mean, Augustus, walk-wise, is brutal, but you don't even feel it till you stop Sunday night, because you're so... Well, I'm not glad to be there, but you, it's just such a buzz being there. It's very hilly and it's very hot as a rule, so you, and you've got those lovely suits on. You don't have to calm him down and you don't have to G him up. I mean, he's 38, he's been doing it a long time now, and he's, he's had peaks and troughs in his career, so it's at a peak at the minute. And, and try and enjoy it for what it is. I mean, he said to me going up the 18th for the rider coach, says, let's enjoy this in the singles. Now, that, if you're not a pretty grounded individual, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be, you'd be too wrapped up in the moment, I think. And he, he came out with it, just wandering up before we got to the second shot, which was, that kind of sums it up for me. I mean, individual clubs, yeah, but tactically wise, we'd already, before we start, we'd know. I mean, you wouldn't, we would generally go through the round before we start, as if you had walked the course, we'll go through the book, this is where the wind is, we would like to be here, the flag is here, so therefore we'll try and hit it here, if things are going well. Obviously, if you're in trouble, then he's generally pretty good, take his medicine, and let's try and make a four, but we're not gonna push for a four and make six. We can afford the odd five, so. I think you'll know if you're any good if you ever get a chance. Because it'll either be quite natural or you'll just be in a mass panic. You can see some of the young kids at the start there. It all gets a bit much. and I think it helps to know someone out here, be it a player or a caddy, to come in after out of the cold. People do it, but it would be very difficult, I think. Thank you.